man, in today's video, I'm talking about how all of these people are jumping in the chats of anything straightway, demanding answers. I've even had these people, uh, you know, jump on my chats when I'm doing a live stream, demanding answers. Demanding. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, let me tell you something. People go out of their way to demand answers from straightway. They go out of their way. They're concerned with everything straightway. And oftentimes these are people that are sitting back, monitoring spirits, using the teachings of straightway for their own benefit while they are anti-straightway. Man, I had somebody get on my stream when I was going live asking me stuff about, you know, one of the communities. And I'm not in that present community, but man, I'm used to operating around structure, uh, discipline, good order, and I'm used to uh, being under authority. I was raised like that. Nowadays, we have a generation of kids that want to know uh, things about, you know, things that they have no business knowing about because it is it almost will create a, a, a bomb if you give somebody that does not know how to handle certain information, they can use that information against you. You know, my kids do not have a need to know to know what me and my wife talk about in the bedroom. If we have conversations vocally at a tone to where they can hear it through the communication barriers, being that uh, them two by four, 16 inch on center, and them uh, five eighths inch drywall, then they overheard. But everybody does not have a need to know. In the, in the army, they operate, uh, when it comes to critical information that can be used against us, you gotta have a security clearance. I'm gonna just talk to you about this. You gotta have a security clearance. But in order to get a security clearance, you gotta pass a favorable background check. And when we look into the background of a lot of these people, I mean, I, sometimes I click the thumbnail of the people or type the name in just to see what your profile looks like. You know, sometimes, you know, go to Facebook and look into you and you don't have a favorable background check. There's not a need to know, you know? And people, like I said, people will demand uh, answers. We wanna know what happened with such and such. Just tell us. I, I, the onus is not on me to explain everything to you. Let me, have these people that demanding answers, what good is the information? They're not gonna take it as the, as the truth. Even if you hear it from the source, you're dealing with reprobate, double-minded people that simply want to get a testimony that's coming from the source so they can make videos calling it false. So they can make clips and chop them up uh, and sway the minds of the, the, the court of public opinion. And, and you always see this. Man, I can be tuned in to uh, ask the elect. I can be tuned in uh, to, to Brother Michael Israel. I can be tuned in to any one of the channels of Straightway. You know, Straightway help me. And and somebody will jump in the live, the, the live and the moderator got to remove them out because they are a distraction 
to the teaching. And these people ain't asking questions about the teaching. Uh, what 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 uh, book chapter and verse did you say that was? I didn't catch that. Sometimes the, 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 the book chapter and verse does not get published on the screen. Sometimes you have people in the chats publishing that where uh, the moderators are not. But people will jump in and ask you stuff, foolishness. And I'll tell you, man, the enemy wants answers to a lot of stuff. But can the father trust you with not giving the enemy, enemy ammunition to shoot back at us? Think about that. Man, there's all kind of, uh, uh, in the army, we got privates, you know, we got private first class, we got uh, specialists, corporal, sergeant, staff sergeant, you gotta think, as a first sergeant, that private is not gonna have a need to know of the stuff that I have to do with. It's not It's not in uh, their roles and responsibility. It ain't none of their damn business. Man, oftentimes, every once in a while, I'll get a soldier, I'll be handling or adjudicating an issue of a higher level leader, and then a soldier might know of this adjudication matter happening but they don't have the nerve to ask me, so what happened in there? And and I tell you, it's an opportunity. Uh, you didn't volunteer yourself for an opportunity to get lit up. It ain't none of your damn business. It ain't none of your damn business. And here's the thing. Oftentimes when you see people that do this, they're not genuine. They're not authentic. They're just minions to go back and feed the enemy, people that are led of Hasatan, uh, you know, feed them data to, you know, the enemy, the adversary wants to know uh, where everything is on a military base. There are certain things that you can Google to find out where certain things is, and then there are certain things that don't appear on the map that you ain't gonna have no idea. Man, I never knew that was there but you don't have a need to know. People wanna know every damn thing, but guess what? Guess what these people don't do? They don't uh, They don't pester their local ministries like this. How come y'all sitting up letting the drag queen uh, read books in there? They're not uh, messing with these people. No, they're attacking the, the, the saints of righteousness, the saints and sisters of righteousness. They not uh, uh, attacking Joyce Myers like this. We want to know. No, they don't do that. They're wasting their time actually demanding answers uh, and asking questions that have nothing to do with the topic at hand to serve as a distraction. And these people, when you go back and look at uh, their profiles, Bro, these some questionable people. When we look at your profile, we cannot, you know, upon a background check, it does not come back favorable. We can see you operating, you ain't neither hot nor cold. You operating in a gray area. Everything that sounds good to your flesh, uh, you a part of. But when it comes to righteousness, you don't want nothing to do with it. You know, you got people, and a lot of people don't understand what it means to be a private ministry. Man, your salvation with the most high y'all is private. You earn it. Your mama can't earn it for you. Your daddy can't earn it for you. Your salvation with the most high y'all is private. People wanna know, uh, they wanna know your past so they can use it against you to distract you from focusing on righteousness in the future. I'm telling you, see, you can't give your testimony to everybody. Some people will weaponize a truthful testimony against you to try to sway the minds of people. To people that live a lie, to people that live a lie, they can never receive a truthful testimony. They deceive their own damn selves. I tell you, if half the people that are asking all these questions, you're not, you're not, uh, you didn't hear any of the people, you know, say that they're gonna pray for, for, for straightway Indiana Goshen. You didn't hear none of these people that's jumping in the chats be genuine and authentic. And that's just from a basic test in the spirit in these people. 
just discerning. No, these are the people that's asking these questions. And if you take the bait, you're gonna wonder, man, how did these people get these video clips and uh, copy and paste and screenshot these testimonies and chop them up to use them against you? Israel, let me tell you something. A lot of these people, your mama, your daddy, your aunts might wanna know everything that you damn doing, but it ain't for them to know. It ain't for them to know, especially with people that have not come out. You among the heathens, you among the lawless and wanna know why the righteous is doing what they doing. It ain't none of your damn business. Maybe if you came out, maybe the most high y'all will reveal this stuff to you. If you came out. But your, your, your clearance ain't gonna never be elevated because you're not a trustworthy individual. You can't pass a favorable background check. Can, the, can, can Abba Yah trust you? That's what this Sabbath day teaching is on. Can Abba Yah trust you to handle the testimony? Or are you warping and twisting the testimony, the word, the doctrine? I tell you, man, these lawless people are off the chain. And I tell you, hey, we must pray for them. Because if they don't correct themselves, if they don't get right, you know, there will be no salvation for them. These gonna be the people that don't inherit the kingdom. These are the people that when the word says this calls for the endurance of the saints, this is the people that's wearing out the saints. That's wearing out the saints. Man, I tell you, when I'm doing a live, sometimes I like to, uh, I like to minimize the chat where I can't see it because Man, you look over there, you didn't forgot what the heck you talking about. One of these people then jumped up in your chats asking you about something that ain't got nothing to do with it. Like that's the time, place, and venue. See, a lot of these people, they want to hate from the from behind the scenes. You look at their thumbnails and it's like, who the, who, who the heck are you? And I'm supposed to disclose information to you just because you ask? You got people... These people are like telephone scammers. That's what they're like when they jump in the chats and do that. You got people that they make a living and they think it's an honest living. Calling people, scamming them. Hey, your account has been locked out. We need your information. Naive people, people that aren't spiritually discerned, give the information and wonder why they got got. Wonder why they got attacked. I tell you, Israel, you gotta watch out for this. This, this right here, you don't even need to think about this at a community level. This can be in your own damn house. You tell your kids too damn much, they'll use that information. One day when that spiteful spirit, that bitter rebellious spirit, they'll attack you with it. Men out here, you tell your wife something and she, she, she has proven that she does not have a favorable background check. She'll use the same information uh, to go against you. You have people out here, I deal with this all the time in the army. I'll put out some guidance. Hey, we're gonna do X, Y, and Z, and this is when we're gonna do it. You always have the people that have a hidden agenda that always want more details. Hey, what are we, what are we, we uh why are we doing this? And uh, you know, what are you gonna be doing and, and what are they gonna be doing? And they trying to paint a picture so they can uh pretty much tactically ambush you, and you gave them all the damn ammunition. Gave them the gun. So sometimes I have to tell people, hey, 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 it ain't your damn job to know all that. You got you got three, four levels of leadership above you. That's their concern. Your damn job is to do what they told you to do. Doesn't the word say obey them that have rule over you? But you can always see this, see this spirit. And it's generally the people that choose to stay in bondage that want to get in here and ask all this, ask all these questions. They choose to stay in bondage, you know, uh, demanding all these 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 answers from Holla. It's like I know I can have an opinion or a thought about what the president is doing, but you think they're gonna pay me any mind if I jump up and ask the president, "Tell me why you doing this?" Hell no, hell to the no no, because you don't have a need to know stuff at that level. You gotta understand. Abba Yah has not showed you certain things and won't show you certain things because you haven't proven trustworthy. Haven't true. Here's another one. A lot of people desire to be rich 
it's not that the most high you doesn't want you wealthy. He just knows he's all knowing that if he gives you access to this, man, you going straight to the doggone right. That's why if he keep you doggone uh, broke, if you stay in bondage while you choosing to, now you have a reason to stay focused. I'm telling you, everybody does not have a need to know. You know, you gotta, you gotta be mindful of who you're talking to, uh, of who you are disclosing pertinent uh, information. And sometimes you gotta, you have to remind people that they are too damn nosy. You know, I can, let me give you an example. I can plan a surprise for my wife. If I give her too many damn details, other than, hey, be ready at this time, I'm taking you somewhere. Man, just a, just a natural uh, human instinct. She wanna know all the details, and then pretty soon, then use them details of why we shouldn't go X, Y, and Z, and that ruins the whole purpose of the surprise. Same thing with my kids. Hey, put your clothes on, we about to go somewhere. They wanna know all the details so they can tell you why they don't wanna go. Bullshit, you going. You going, you're not getting the option uh, to ambush me with the information I gave you. I'm telling you, I tell you, man, you're not getting the option uh, to ambush me with the information that I gave you. You're not gonna get this information, you're not gonna get this information so you can go back and strategize with the lawless people to be rebellious. Come on, man, come on. See, we are, see, this is the reason why, this is the reason why the truth cuts so deep. This is the reason why the truth hits so hard. This is the reason why Closer to Y'all Ministries is always kicking that thing gun barrel straight. 